that we call a new radical. That was for Thomas Ackerman. He asked me to do that. I don't know what he's up to, the artist. Said he needed it. Back to Fukushima. We're getting all kinds of reports there. I get calls left and right out of Huntington Beach, Oregon, Washington. The military complex is on the coast, big time. They're going up and down the coast at night on the beaches picking up stuff. There's rumors coming out. They're going to make it illegal to go down on the beach with Geiger counters. I want people to understand this in California, Washington, Oregon. The second anniversary, I was all over Eugene, did a big gig up in Eugene. People didn't care. We organized Geiger counters in the very early days. We sent money to each other. We had people driving around. I mean, we have web pages. We have Facebook pages. We have all kinds of things. We've all done this for free. I, I did so much of it. Why in critical condition, full of leukemia? So many people have done so much work as the sheeple in their snuggies, their dogma snuggies. You've all been laying your dog. You, you're so dug in on your dogma. I mean, the answer to this, you, you have a car. Oh, gone, God, are you there? They're coming to put me in my FEMA camp. When you're already FEMA camp, they're going to do this. They're going to do that. When they already fucking did all of it, it's not going to happen. It happened. It happened. It's like this Norquist punk. You know, I love it. Oh, God, can't raise taxes on the billionaires. Can't close our so we just, everything we do, we give them, we just feed these monsters. You know, 400 people on what, 90 some percent of the wealth, we just give them more through our dogma. Fukushima breaks all that apart. My post ignorance project, I've been working on the post ignorance good for a long, long time. You know, I was in Washington Square in Manhattan trying to organize my post ignorance the winter of 2010. You know, I was involved with the early occupation. I argued with them sleeping in a Zuccotti. I argued with them about the name. I didn't like it, but anyway, I supported it. I argued about it being leader. No, we're the opposite of leaderless. We have leaders. It's so important to have leaders. It's like the Million Mass Mad Project. I'm not surely not anonymous, but was I involved in that? Absolutely. Helped organize? Absolutely. You know, we need to put these all in because these are all human rights issues. The Megan Rice, I don't believe in going to jail. I really don't. I argued with Tim DeChristopher about the whole gig because they knew we don't have to break the law. We just tell the truth. Of course, we know, even if you don't break the law, look what they did to Aaron Swartz, look what they did to Michael Hastings, look what they did to... Sorry about that. Yeah, look what they did to Pat Tillman. Yeah, the wind. Look what the wind does to us. But as far as Fukushima goes, this breaks it all apart. This takes it all, it changes the whole equation. Because the NSA, the repressors themselves, the military industrialized police that think they're on the 118, they can all die, they can all get cancer. Just like when I was talking to Capitol Police in DC, I'm like, you can get cancer, you're fine. They all have horrific stories. This, mark my words, Fukushima's not going away. And you can believe what you want to believe. And they're saying, oh, panic, why haven't they entombed it? I'll tell you exactly why they haven't entombed it. They could have they entombed it early? Absolutely. They entomb it, they know it's the end of the nuclear cartel. This is to protect the nuclear. And your dogma and your dogma snuggy, you know, far left idealism, far right idealism, you marginalize the other 80%. In your FEMA camp, you're already in your FEMA camp. You know, you work longer for less every year. You funnel up to the top, you can't have conversations about you. You don't even know what usury is. In the name of Christianity, Jesus died so I could be rich, the prosperity freaking evangelicals make me sick. I mean, they are devils. They are devils. That is such a grotesque spin on any spirituality. I mean, it's across all religious divides. It's across all... The, I mean, your whole mind has been co-op, but it's us as a people. You know, eventually they're going to get me. They're going to take me down. What are they going to do? Give me leukemia? Take my money? I already have. You know, nothing left to win and nothing left to lose. Well, oh, they backed me into a corner, but I do things peacefully. I do think this is a poetry of anger. I don't break the law. I'm Even the repressors, I don't want their family to get cancer and die. I don't want to go through this freaking horrific ordeal that I've gone through. My father went through. So many have gone through. I don't want them to go through that. We can break cultural divides. You believe whatever you want to believe. You use your dogmatism. You use whatever. But I've asked for, I mean, there's millionaires sitting out there all over. They're sitting there watching my videos. I got 10 million in a bank account. When this all comes down to you and you get cancer, say, hey, 
You know, I had a chance to join with Kevin Blanche. I had a chance to partner. He asked me to partner with him over and over and over and over again, my friend. I refuse because I just stare at my money and my dogma snuggy. And he breaks down cultural divides. His language might offend me because he tells the truth. I can't handle the truth. When you get cancer and all your money can another minute by, maybe you can leave your money to can, like, you know, wood holes, and he can go blow it all. You know, buy a yacht, what these people do, and think you're doing something. You know, good luck to you with all that. Stand tuned.